Visit svgcuts.com for professionally designed elements for cards, scrapbooks, gift bags, boxes, and even 3D flowers, all made just for Sure Cuts Lot users like you. Visit www.svgcuts.com. In this video, we'll be reviewing the Gazelle by Boss Cut. Here is the cutter itself. You've got your buttons up here. You've got your speed and pressure settings right here. Okay, there's your speed and pressure. You also feed your paper or your mat in and out using these same buttons. And they change depending on how this button is toggled. If the red LED is off, like it is right now, you'll be able to adjust the pressure and the speed. You see that by the LEDs that are changing there. Okay, and if the LED is on, you'll basically be able to feed your paper in and out. You'll be able to align it, which is basically the print and cut feature. There is a laser embedded in this. And you'll be able to test, which basically does a test cut to make sure that your pressure settings are appropriate for the media that you're trying to cut. My first reaction when seeing this machine is that it feels like it's built very well. It's nice and strong and sturdy. I like the fact that it has a low center of gravity or a low profile, I guess you could call it. Um, the little area here is perfect for your mat to slide up and down on so that you don't get any bowing. Uh, it helps get you a nice clean cut. And this obviously stores away. And when you're done, you can just close it. Okay, so this is the cutting mat. Okay, it is a 12 by 12 mat and it's pink. It says gazelle on the bottom of it. Okay, so I'm just gonna put some 80 pound AC cardstock. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and feed this in. So basically I'm taking these here. Okay, and I'm aligning the edges with these two rollers here. Okay. And then what I'm going to do, I've got my mat in a little bit, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to feed it in. Okay. And again, with the Pazzles machine and with the Cricut machine that you're used to, the origin is automatically set for you. With this one, what you basically do is you take the blade and align it to the bottom of the piece of paper. Okay. So you'll see here. The blade is basically right at the bottom, okay? That's all you need to do. I'll just show you here. With the red LED on, you can hit test. Okay, and basically what it's doing is it's doing a test cut for you. It just cuts out a, it cuts out a square and a star just to show you that, well, this is what it's gonna cut. This is how it's gonna cut when you cut. and. You can kind of peel off the paper and see, and you can tell that it, it did make a cut there. So my settings are pretty good for this cardstock. It's really cool how it does that. Okay, so what I'll do is I'm going to disengage this red LED, which means that I can now change my speed. Okay, I'm going to leave it on the third one here. I'm going to slow it down a little bit, and then I'm going to leave the force as is because my test cut shows that it's gonna work just fine. Okay, so now it's actually ready to go, okay? It's online, as, as they would say. This means that it's basically paused and it's not ready to go. You hit it again and it's ready to go. So now, if I go over to Sure Cuts a lot. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit cut and hit cut. And here we go. Okay, so we're cutting some circles right now. Okay. Okay, so 
It cut that. I'm going to put it in the standby mode or hit the pause button so I can take it out and use the feed button. Okay, and as you'll notice, I'm going to go ahead and just show you here. Look how nice that cuts. Okay, and we're using Sure Cuts a Lot 3. Okay, and I don't know if you can see that. Sure, you can. Okay, circles cut really nice actually. So I'm going to get my spatula out and just peel these off. And it's not too sticky. Um, but actually, like I said, the, the cuts and the speed at which it cuts and the precision that it cuts at, uh, I, I'm really happy with it. And this would definitely be a machine that I would recommend for use with our files. And when I say that, I mean files from svgcuts.com. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut something a little more intricate. And just like I did with the with the last few cutting machines, we're going to we're going to cut a few of the more intricate items from our collection. One of them includes a butterfly. Okay, again, so I'm going to go ahead and align the mat like this. Feed it using the up arrow making sure that my red light is triggered. Okay, so I've got it aligned and I'm gonna hit the pause slash play button to take it and put it online so that it's ready to cut. Now I already have some files ready to go, so I'm gonna hit cut and here we go. Okay, now we're going to cut the one of the sides of the Eiffel Tower. Okay, now this one's more straight cuts where the butterfly was a, a lot of round cuts. Okay, so that's that. Let's go ahead and pop this thing out and see how it did. Now at first glance, and I don't know if you can see that, the little pieces that are popped off are just the small, really intricate circles um, on the butterfly. The actual Eiffel Tower piece, there you go, you can see that. It actually cut out really well just as good as any other machine that I've seen so far. Okay, you can see I'm peeling it off right there. Live. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that came off beautifully. You can see the holes there. Okay, and now the Eiffel Tower piece, you can see that it cut the score marks perfectly. It didn't tear or rip while trying to cut the score mark. Sometimes I've seen uh, machines do that. Okay, there you go. Score marks cut beautifully. So you'll definitely be able to pretty much make any, any project that we have on svgcuts.com using the, the Boss Cut Gazelle. Okay, I'm going to peel off the butterfly now. Try to be real careful. Looks like I might have been able to increase the pressure by one because it does look like there's a little bit of a tear right there, but it actually come, it's coming off really nice. So you can see the detail on that is actually really good. It's a really clean cut. The edges are nice and clean. So our initial review of the Gazelle by Boss Cut is actually very positive. It's, it's, a, it's a very uh, precise machine. It can cut very well without tearing. Um, it's actually quiet. When it's not cutting, it's completely quiet, whereas the Pazzles and the Black Cat do make a little bit of noise. The Black Cat, you can't really hear too much unless you've got weird ears like me. Um, but the Pazzles does give off like a high pitch that is really annoying to me, actually. Um, but this thing is actually really quiet. 
Um, you know, the bonus with this one is that it has the laser so that you can, you know, use the registration marks to do print and cut. And uh, other than that, I mean, you know, as you can see, it cuts very well. You've seen it with your own eyes. So this is definitely one that we would recommend to use with SVG files from svgcuts.com.